just wanted to get another race in here. I feel like I'll come up with some more ideas to it as Nelson goes absolutely off the wazoo, dude. Holy cow. That boy's sheep still were cut. I ain't been up on the block in a minute. I've been missing out the walk with a minute. I've been building up the blocks like a me. Elliot got water dripping out the city. Oh my God. Boy, he got it glide. Oh my God. Boy, that boy on top. What up, and this is John, it's your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And first and foremost, I just want to say happy Valentine's to everybody out there that celebrates. And uh, if you guys have a Valentine's, man, just show them that you love them. And uh, if you don't, just find a loved one and say, hey, happy Valentine's Day. Hopefully, everybody's having a good one. But if you guys have a second of your time throughout the day and you know want to catch an IBS Kelso video, man, um, I think this is a a good question or a good debate. I would love to talk to you about the future of ranked. Um, pros and cons, I should say, for, you know, what if we put an hour cap at PPD servers, like, for ranked, you know, like, maybe 0 to 200, or maybe 0 to 100, I think 0 to 200, 200 to 400, you know, 400 to 600 would be a really good balance to, like, where we could, like, literally see potential of, you know, better, better ranking servers, I should say, like, an, an hour cap to where it tracks your GUID, to where you can only join those servers, right? Let's see if we can get a pretty good spot here. Had to slow down just a bit. I guess I'll focus up slash ride and talk at the same time. We are on a wet Washington track <laughs> here at Papiti, so this might get a little interesting. Let's go ahead and hug this right side. But with that being said, I, I thought it was a true uh, question to ask, just like, what if we literally just capped hours, you know, one to zero to 200, 200 to 400, and et cetera? Because I think getting on here and I'm almost at 1,200 hours, you know, you see a lot of people that are at, you know, zero to 100 and so, and it's just like, it's just like some competition, no competition, right? And you're having to deal with some riders that don't know how to ride yet, which is fine because you all got to start somewhere. And then you got the other ones that are just knocking everybody out of the park. And I think a good balance to this would be a zero to 200, because I think zero to 200, you're still learning the game. You're still trying to get your settings dialed, which I felt like at that time, I was definitely still trying to. And then 200 to 400, I feel like those maps should be like upgraded, you know? Maybe I think zero to 200 is definitely the way to keep everybody on stock tracks. And I think that's when you start dipping into uh, a little bit of um, upgraded tracks around. Like, what is that? You see what I'm saying? Like, you see what I'm saying? Just like, just like simple riding like that is just like where people could be still working on the craft to where they got to understand like how to ride. And I think simple things to where we just literally update the maps a little bit more to where nobody's really riding Papiti stock tracks at 400, you know, 200 to 400. And now you're upgrading to maybe Kels's, Kels's free tracks, maybe like a Unadilla, WW Ranch, maybe a little bit more roughness. Maybe that could be like 400 to 600. I don't know, you know, but, and maybe like some MXGP type of tracks, you know, and, and then maybe around that, that 800 to a thousand maybe you start dipping into those you know supercross tracks to where you're trying to learn supercross you know obviously it's just like ranked service to where you can learn any of that at any time so that way you're always ahead of the game but i was really thinking like man like what if we did cap stuff like that you know and i think the pro to it would be you know you're riding with the same kind of hourly class to where like now you got to bob and weave from 200 hours to zero hours right so you got to bob and weave to understand okay bet i have a a, quite a bit of new people maybe in this lobby and I'm probably the top of the food chain now I have to watch out and maybe learn how to ride a little bit better and then once when you get into that you know 200 to 400 hour now you know okay bet I'm at the bottom of the food chain I got I got other people out here knowing a little bit more craft right and I think it just continually goes up I think that would be a really cool way to innovate and refurbish or revamp the rank system i think the con here would be people that would you know be obnoxiously wanting to i mean which i don't know i don't see this happening because I, I see that this community for the most part is low-key broke um no that's no offense to anybody i'm just saying like people have such a hard time even wanting to pay for a four dollar track two dollar track i don't see people wanting to spend multiple times for a 35 dollar game just so they could go try to crap on people in a zero to 200 hour on a new steam account right now i don't see that happening no absolutely that'd probably be the only big con i would see and then the other con would be like you're kind of capped to where like if you've been practicing with faster riders and stuff and you're at like 200 to 400 hours but you've been literally grinding to where it's like man i feel faster than these guys you can't necessarily move up out of your rank until you get that those hours but then again it kind of 
kind of pays tribute for a pro for people to keep coming back to the game so they can move up to a different rank right and then once again you don't really have to be in that rank if you just play on regular servers like dedicated servers and all that you know like you don't have to get the time you don't have to do like a certain timeline of hours in ranked it just has to be from your GUID lock so i think that'd be like really cool i think that'd be something fun to enter to where it's like you know you're you're eligible now to be able to ride in a bigger you know hour bracket you know so basically like a bracket like an hour bracket right yeah i think that'd be fine like an hour cap hour bracket to where that would be something to where it's like you you Every time you move up in hours, your your tracks get a little bit harder, right? That way, ranked is still fun. It's like, okay, bet I'm messing with the big dogs, cause cause once again, like like coming on here with almost 1,200 hours, I'm kind of cruising for a bruiser right now, just vibing, you know, keeping up with the pace. But you can just see how far back a lot of riders are, man. To where it's like you kind of want that, you kind of want that competitive edge, you know? You you want to be able to just ride more than just one to two people riding, getting super active, maybe two or three. I think top four right now is the only people getting active, right? And then everybody else is like in the nosebleed section, you know, you want probably one of those good races to where it's like, man, everybody's competing. I've got like literally something to prove here, you know, and then I don't know, maybe I guess revamp the Papiti server thing to where it's like you have your leaderboards from people from zero to 200 hours, 200 to four hours. And then every time you up, you, um, you upgrade your kind of rank resets in there. And then it's like, who can hold the top within that leaderboard? That way it's always an influx of always an influx of new people holding new records you know and who's got the most points in that bracket i think it'd be something cool you know and once again i don't got all the kinks but i thought i mean all, all the you know all the answers i should say not the kinks but you know i think it's just simple things like that could really revamp and maybe help out ranked inside of mx bikes because i know this game grows and this is a lot of places where people want to start their career or, you know, their racing is Papiti servers. And I think a lot of us took that, you know, outage of almost five days of no servers up for granted. You know, everybody loves to go into testing and, and test their tracks. You know, they want to go into testing. But it's what, what cool thing about testing is that you always want to come out being able to try to race other people you know whether it's your friends whether it's your adversaries you know your little competition to where it's like hey i've seen this guy multiple times i think we're around the same speed i know that if i catch him again i'm gonna i'm gonna be hungry for him right i can go in and testing as much as i want but it's not a, it's, it's not as much like you know satisfaction satisfactory until like i actually get to race that guy in another race you know it's just a little animosity it's a little competition you know competition rules the world you know that's what keeps the world going you know, so I think something like that could revamp and could make Papiti great again. I, I don't know. I'm not saying that it's not great right now. It's a really stepping stone for a lot of new players. But like, where does ranked really go when you get to that 400 hour? Because I know I stopped wanting to play Papiti once when I got to maybe 400, 500 hours, right? I, I 600 hours. I was like, yo, let's let's buy the Deddy, right? Let's buy the Deddy. Let's start working on bigger tracks, better better stuff, right? Because that's where it's gonna get you to to get better at the game right you want to get that rougher track you want to get a little active so i think as the bracket moves up the tracks you know the bra the the rough uh, the roughness of the track moves up so i think stock tracks for my for my own opinion of it i think stock tracks is zero to 200 right still learning the game still in that then maybe we move up to a little bit um you know a little bit rougher motocross tracks and then maybe around that six you know that 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 400 to six i mean that 600 to 800 you start pushing for like mxgp tracks like actual like you know tfc tracks not paid not paid or anything right you still want that free aspect start coming out with some really good tracks that came out that have some really good roughness and then put those in there to where you really start working on the craft man you know like at least like if you already know that you're running running pretty hard you can just get on papiti and still get that same that same movement within those hours you know and i think that'd be really sick I think there's a lot of people in all all aspects of hours that still play this game and it would be really nice now i i know like the percentage of of higher maybe maybe the cap would be what 800 to a thousand and then once when you get to a thousand plus you're kind of just all in the same bracket at that point a thousand plus should should all be in the same place because at that point it's simple little things that you're focusing on trying to get better in your game you know you're, you're just trying to get on the craft of of working on the little kinks and i think at that point you got your sx tracks you got your mxgp tracks you got your outside motor motocross tracks and that right there is just everything you know and i i think that would be really cool to see like anything over a thousand you're messing with the big dogs you know but that 800 to a thousand maybe you know a supercross track some really good rough 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 tracks you know 
I think that's my two cents on maybe a revamp for ranked and how it should go. But, you know, this is all just a what if and if we could do it. Um, if anybody's listening to me, I might just be, you know, off the wazoo and you guys be like, eh, he doesn't really know what he's talking about, you know. I, I don't think I like that idea, but let me know down in the comment section if you guys really stuck this far. And if you guys are enjoying what, I, what I've said, be, be sure to hit that sub button, man, that like button. You know, I don't have all the answers, like I said, but I think that would be something really cool. I think it would make me come back to ranked because I know I have a lot of friends that are around the same area, the around the same size. And shoot, I love to battle against some 1,000 hour plus people, you know, to where it's like, man, we're all battling for a position, you know, and it's like it's for something. It's for rank, you know, I think the, the rank structure other than just points on the board is just, uh, you know, just, eh, you know, it's just like something right now. It's like a man lousy trophy. It's nothing too crazy, but competing in hours around you. It's like, OK, bet you got the same hours as me, dog. But like, who's who's really the top dog? Who's better on the sticks? You know and that's the same thing for like two zero to 200 hours everybody's working on the craft but i think i think it'd be really cool for for uh you know zero to 200 hours to get that progression but uh let's go in there uh, race two yeah just uh kind of piggybacking or going off what i was saying man I, I i'm trying to think of a lot of cons here to where it's like it's it's like you know hourly capped and the only one i can think of is just like people just leaving their pc on which you know that's pretty bad <laughs> and like, having your game runs and just try to run up your hours but you know just like in any ranked system you have people that are like in that hourly ranked or in that rank that shouldn't be there and like you know maybe they'll mess up your ranked but at the end of the day everybody's always learning and everybody's on the craft so that's the only con i can think of is like people doing like you know leaving their pcs on or people could buy new accounts and then just like kind of shredding through and just like man that's no fun you know trying to to sandbag some stuff which it's gonna happen it'll happen all the time it's called alt accounts you know and it's like it's in any rank system you know and or any game but i i personally think it, it'd be a dub more than a than, than an l i know a lot of people you know for competition wise want to see kind of something like that and especially for these low guys like they would love knowing that they don't have to sit here and try to fight for someone like me <laughs> or like anybody else that comes through here trying trying to literally go you know balls to the wall and it's just like man like i'm always being in 10th place because i'm not at that craft yet you know at least like racing the same level you know so i don't know that's my own two cents to it for sure we're here on forest man it's such an og but i would love to know your guys's feedback on that We try to battle up here. Just want to get another race in here. I feel like I'll come up with some more ideas to it as Nelson goes absolutely off the wazoo, dude. Holy cow. That boy's sheep still work up. Oh, I got to be careful here. Just going to go ahead and not even whip in his face. Don't even want the chance. But yeah, I, I think the only thing would be like when new players join, they're like, oh, well, I don't know the lines. I don't know this. Like, that's a whole part of YouTube, whole part of Twitch, you know? That's the whole reason why people make content, so you can kind of get that competitive edge to know, like, what lines it take, you know? I don't know, man. I personally think the rank structure thing, you know, our, our caps would be just fine, you know? You're not capping anybody off at, like, riding skill. I mean, you are capping them off at, at riding skill kind of just by hourly, you know? And once again, if you don't ever play ranked and you kind of just in people's deadies and stuff, I mean, I... I still think you would get a lot of value out of that because they play rougher tracks they play harder tracks so if you were to hop into the rank system now you're just competing to get up in the rank rankings you know and i you know i don't i shouldn't say that like you're a bronze just because you're zero to 200 like no like i said like i feel like there'd be a way to where it's like if you're in the zero to 200 range you know like fight for it you know you're in that bracket and and then you know the leaderboards would in syndicate or indicate maybe i don't know if it's possible but like all right boom now you're in the 200 to 400 bracket now your rank doesn't necessarily uh, i should say your rank does reset now you have to fight all over again but it's what's bringing you back to the game that is what should bring you back to the game is knowing okay bet i was top dog in this bracket let's move up i think i think just like overwatch or siege like when you go through gold five to gold one plat five to plat one you know like it's the same thing right it's the same thing you're you were a top dog in that bracket and now you're in the bottom of the lead with that bracket and now you got to fight back up to get good you know and i think it's perfect and once again it's just like an hour basis because over time you will learn the game it's a fun game at the end of the day so you get to that 400 to 600 maybe you weren't top dog in there but hey now you got to move up again because you've been putting in the grind but if you don't learn anything in two hour 200 hours of playing this game 
I, I just don't think you're playing the game right at that point, you know? You should be literally studying other people's moves, seeing what they're doing, and... Man, and then once when you get to that thousand hour part, if you play this game for a thousand hours, you better have picked up something within that time, you know? Corner speed, something, scrubbing, you know? I think that's the perfect time to work on the craft until you start getting to the to the elite, you know, elite spot, you know? And that's when it's like, really, all right, bet. You're battling with the, the grandmasters or whatever you want to say. And I'm not saying like everybody over a thousand hours is top tier of the game. No, not, not at all. I know a lot of people that still work on their own craft, which is me, by all means, I still work on my own craft. And a thousand hours doesn't mean your, your, your loyalty on this game or royalty, I should say not loyalty royalty um it just means like hey you know you've been putting in a lot of grind you have over a thousand hours but like we're gonna signify that that's like the bracket for you being in higher and and you never know like there might be a bracket to where it's like when time goes on and this game keeps getting played they might up up it to a two thousand you know plus bracket to where it's like man that's the that's the elite of the elite legends you know to where it's like they're battling you know like the game skills should be there you know from playing <laughs> But, you know, once again, like, I don't think anybody, the the one percenters of this game has 2,000 hours, you know? So, like I said, it's a small percentage of people that have over 1,000 hours on this game. And there's been an influx of new people that are still pushing P. But I think, personally, a lot of these lower class people that want to ride these tracks and not have to worry about, you know, me, another fast rider in here, literally blowing out the park, which I'm like 20 seconds ahead of everybody to where it's like, they can actually get their battles in and understand their lines and where they could work on that to where it's like, man, I'm not going to get first place. Cause I literally got somebody not necessarily sandbagging. It's just like, I'm here, dude. I've done it. You know, like I I've been riding, you know, there's nowhere else for me to go in ranked, you know? And I don't know. I think it just needs to be touched up on revamped refurbished. And I think that'd be a really cool thing. So zero to 200, I think definitely Papiti, um, you know, Poboso regular servers, um, these maps, and then 200 to 400, a little bit higher, you know, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to my Ted talk. I'd hopefully they, they revamped this, but, um, yeah, other than that, it's your boy, IBS Kelso, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Papa, 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 pa, 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 pa,